and go. Okay, so we don't have much time. We got out of the Lazarus effect. <laughs> yes, the Lazarus effect, aka the almost good horror film. <laughs> almost. Uh, final verdict, real fast. I don't know if we're gonna get a big spoiler section on this one. <laughs> um, it's skippable. It's skippable. We'll wait till it comes to Redbox or Netflix. It. Netflix. <laughs> I mean, don't ignore it entirely because there's a lot of really, really good elements to this one. Yeah. The cast especially did a really good job. Shoutouts to Olivia Wilding and the guy who played Quicksilver. It's Quicksilver. not Wilding. It's just Olivia Wilde. I called her Wildy. There's an E at the end of her name. It's Olivia Wilde. <laughs> it's like Oscar Wilde. They don't call him Oscar Wilde. It's Oscar Wilde. But they didn't put an E at the end. <laughs> but yeah, actually, they did. On, on Oscar Wilde's name, there's an E on the end. And I'm not going to argue with this. Because <laughs> yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have time. time. <laughs> the story of our life. Um, uh, so, yeah. Shout out to the cast. The guy who played Quicksilver and Olivia Wilde were both amazing. Everyone else was uh, passable, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, the black guy, I... I telegraphed his death. <laughs> I liked them all except the one guy that was in love with Olivia Wilde. <laughs> the main character, or the the lead scientist, or the black guy? The main scientist. The main scientist. Yeah, he they was just some better. He was just dull. <laughs> Very. So I liked the black guy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I liked, I liked Clay. <laughs> Clay uh, was great. Clay was the guy uh, played by Quicksilver. And yes, he was great. So they're a group of scientists who think they can... Spoiler section now. <laughs> yeah, spoiler section. Uh, they developed the Lazarus Serum. Which allows them to yeah. uh, potentially bring people back from the dead. The, the intent of the drug in the first place is just to give people more time to be brought back from the edge. So the surgeries have a higher success rate and some people... It, it's just a, a stem off drug, but uh, after bringing a dog back to life. <laughs> First of all, they bring a pig back to life in no. the opening sequence, uh, or it like it like reacts to it, but then it dies immediately. Mm -hmm. In this close-up shot, where we just hear their voices, shaky cam goes off. You hear the pig squealing, and then it's, and then the movie starts. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so they bring this dog back to life, and these and throughout the first maybe 20, 30 minutes, the dog is is. is giving off these signs that something's wrong yeah increased they like say it uh in it gives increased aggression to that part of the brain and the talk is fucking creepy yep it's not eating uh and it's it's, it's watching people sleep yeah it's super <laughs> creepy sometimes you just get jump scares like orchestra stings and the dog will just be there baring its teeth <laughs> yeah there's a lot of unnecessary ones a really, really dumb one involving a pig mask. For yeah. God's sakes, these are stupid. The black They're guy. They're so stupid. The black Hi, guy. <laughs> yeah, his uh, his brother's out there. I'll oh, just show him there. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. He's running. He's running away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So they go back and like test it. Was it the? It was another dog. They like sneak back because the college is trying to shut them down. Uh, someone was spying on them, stole all the research using uh, pretty shady legal means, and yeah, they sneak back in to try to uh, uh, recreate the experiment that brought back the dog. So they have videoed proof that they're the ones that did this experiment and not this company that stole all their research. Yeah. And Olivia, Olivia Wilde is the one who is supposed to flip the switch. But but she leaves her ring on which causes her to causes it to backfire and she gets electrocuted and she dies. Uh, not wanting to lose her, he puts her through the experiment and it works. It works. Kind she, of. She, no, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they, they left it... Ar the, what, the best part about this film is that they left it arguable as to what's actually happening. Is she A, possessed by a demon, B, fighting her own demons, or C, is this just all some scientific reaction that we don't understand? Yeah, we get exposition that uh, she's going through her own turmoil, and she claims that that's what hell is, and that's where she was sent, supposedly for years, when they explain that she was only dead for less than an hour. Yeah, and she, and had she to has to relive it over and over again. She has to relive this, basically, in this 
in her apartment building that she grew up a fire started and we don't and nobody knows what happened except her <laughs> yeah uh we, it's not i'm not gonna spoil the big old twist at the very very end but yeah needless to say she just has nightmares of that fire uh, over and over again it becomes a pretty big plot point as to what's going on and with the exception of the jump scares in the very beginning there aren't actually any jump scares at the end at least not true jump scares yeah, th there's there's a couple of uh ones they don't have uh whatchamacallit um what is that it's about to crap Battery. out on us. Yeah, it's about to crap out on us. So, yeah, uh, long story short, it leaves it up to your imagination. The only real misstep this film had was the fucking ending. <laughs> where, after everything's resolved, and they basically killed off Olivia Wilde, looks like everyone's going to come in, or the last survivor's going to get coming and get saved, and then... Nope, fuck that. She's alive, and the people who are saving her are all fake and stuff, and they break her neck. And oh, now now we go into monster movie mashup where everybody is gonna be brought back using the serum, and they're gonna be an army of dead. It's it's dumb. It's not even sequel bait. It's just dumb. I'd watch it again on Netflix on Halloween. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about it. So it's not. It's not horrendous. It has a lot of really good elements to it, and there's a lot of really good horror stuff inside of it. God, when she's like just sitting there, traversing the place with the freaking uh, light, looking for Olivia Wilde while everyone else is dead. Yeah. I mean, that is very, very well done. It's not jump scarish, and then she realizes exactly where she is, reaches for the syringe that she's gonna use to kill her, and goes to do it, but then gets knocked back. I mean, it, it wasn't orchestra stinged there or anything. The only parts that have the stupid, stupid jump scares are at the beginning with a fucking pig mask and a dog jumping up. And yeah. you can argue that the dog one actually kind of worked if you just took the orchestra sting off of it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we uh, better Bottom. call this up because the battery is yeah. literally dying. So, as always, I'm Kelly. I'm DJ. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.